you mentioned your documentary work uh, on UFOs and the paranormal, and I know that that's a topic uh, that you know a lot about and are, are passionate about. How important was it to be able to have an experience to do some documentaries on that subject matter, knowing that you do, you do have a vested interest and, and somewhat of a curiosity about it? Does that kind of passion and interest help when you're making a documentary? Sure. Um, I didn't really have a vested interest in UFOs until I started making the film. I mean, my uncle Stan, uh, Stan Friedman, um, who is my uncle, I'd known him for years, but the UFO thing was a very much peripheral thing. Um, and then when I, I said, but he would make an interesting subject for a film. Once I get into it, I became more interested in it. So there's a lot of people who think I've been a UFO buff or whatever for decades. And the truth is, it's really only been about 10 years. And I decided to take a, a serious look at it, um, the science behind it, you know, the real cases as opposed to all the crazy ones you hear about. And there is a core phenomenon there that is of interest to me, um, the same way a lot of the paranormal stuff does, ghosts, anything. Uh, all of it's of interest to me. It doesn't define my life. I don't spend all my time reading about it. But I, you know, I do keep a blog. I write about it occasionally when I have some spare time. And, uh, but always, I try always at least to avoid the personalities and, you know, this guy said that and I hate this guy. And a lot of that goes on in those fields and really just focus on cases and evidence and data and making a case that there's something that science should look into here that they might learn something from it. And now more and more scientists are coming around to that point of view. Uh, people like Michio Kaku saying, yeah, you know what, there, maybe there is something to UFOs that we might be able to learn something from by looking into more closely. I don't think, and nor would I advocate, that um, the scientific establishment, whatever that is, should take billions of dollars from research for a cure for cancer to investigate the UFO phenomenon, no. But if some private citizen or group of citizens wanted to put a couple million bucks together to uh, create a, a, an investigative team that would go out and, and do what Project Blue Book used to do in the 60s, um, that idea of investigating sightings, sure, why not? You know, if a, if a rich multi-billionaire computer guy has that kind of money, absolutely.